The Texans are frauds. The Texans lose to the Minnesota Vikings 34 to 7. And it took me a while to just like get my emotions correct and ready to do this because I got to put these out, put videos out, whether we win, whether we lose, got to, you know, put some stuff out. And looking at that game, this is what I'm talking about. When this before the season started, one key thing I said is any team that we play, I compare them when we face teams like the Chiefs and the Ravens, because those are the cream de la creme. Those are the stars. Those are who you got to beat. And the Texans, they getting all of this hype. But the thing about me, I don't fall for the hype. I never do. What do you got to show me before you tell me? You can tell me everything. We can have the offseason. You had all this talent. You had Stephon Diggs. You had Daniel Hunter. You know, Will Anderson, rookie of the year. CJ Stroud, rookie of the year. This and that. You have all this talent. You know, good draft. But that don't mean nothing because when you put the pads on and you play ball, all of that changes. Other people had good offseasons. Other people have this. Other people have that. They trying to win too. Because the thing about it is, is that you are a good enough team, especially when you face a teams that are at your level or below, to show up, right? Losing sucks. But when you get blown out, that's the problem. I've seen this script, this 34 to 7, I could see this loss coming. I was confident and I picked Houston in the podcast that we did because I'm like, you know what? Y'all said y'all a different team this year. Y'all said y'all locked in. But if you look at those first two weeks, when we played the Indianapolis Colts and Chicago Bears. You could see the holes. You could see the cracks. You, I'm looking at it and I'm like, this team has some problems, legitimate, right? The offense isn't clicking, especially against Chicago. The second half happens, they score three points. And they have Stefan Diggs, Tank Dell, Nico Collins, Dalton Schultz, and all this talent. And we score three points against Chicago at home. So I'm like, bro, we facing a Minnesota team that just beat the 49ers. Big time confident team. A team that at this point might look like they may even be a playoff team. I don't know. But you should beat this Minnesota team. I don't care what anybody says. And if you lose to Minnesota, you need to lose on a close you know, back and forth affair. You know what I'm saying? You should, you should be competitive. And they get blown out and they score one touchdown. Sam Donald with those four touchdowns. The offensive line is just not ready to play today. Laramie Tunsil with all of the penalties, these stupid false start penalties that for, have been problems for many years. And I, I, I look at that and I see the score and I see how they played. And once again, they come in and they don't look prepared. They don't look like today was the day to play football. And that is what Bill O'Brien's teams did all the time. When they had a matchup that we needed to win and we need to lock into, they would show up and they would look mid. They wouldn't look good. They would look like they're not ready to play today. This Houston Texan team is not winning the Super Bowl. Maybe things change, but I can see, I can see, I've, I've been a fan long enough to know what's to happen. And you know, people say, man, you know, it's just one game and this is a wake up call. Maybe you needed a wake up call to make you lock in and be like, you know what? We need to play better. We need to lock in. Because, you know, sure, there's Super Bowl teams have had bad losses in the season. But, bro, you're not, this is not just some average year for trying to get a Super Bowl. You're, Patrick Mahomes and the Kansas City Chiefs exist. That's who you have to go through. You got to go through Patrick Mahomes. You got to go through Josh Allen. You got to go through Lamar Jackson. The AFC's tough. There's some tough teams. And if that's how you're going to play, oh, what, what are we talking about here? Let's do the 2025 as we're looking at. I don't have time to be playing these games. I'm not here to play these Bill O'Brien, Gary Kubiak, we fraudulent team games. A lot of the teams in the past that won 10, 11 games were completely, were completely fraudulent. They were fraudulent. You could tell they're beating up on bad teams, and then they play a good team, and they don't show up. So I knew from, from those years, I knew we weren't going to win nothing. I knew that. But this is supposed to be the deepest roster we have. This is supposed to be the best team that we have. So if this is the best team that we have, you need to show me. Don't tell me nothing. They're going to go in the post game and they're going to say this and that. We got to execute better. We got to be better. We got to do this. We got to do that. Don't show. Don't tell me. Don't talk about it. Obviously, in the press conference, you got to say, but F all that talking. That's what Gary Kubia used to do all the time. That's what Bill O'Brien used to do all the time. I don't want to hear any words. I don't care. They mean nothing. They're, we lost. I want to see action. I want to see you do something about it. I don't play. That's one thing. I, I'm the joking type, but one thing I don't play about is broken. But you tell me things and you don't do it. If you say I'm going to do it or we got to do something, okay, then do it. You just lost by what, 20, 27 points. You just got blown up by 27 points by a team that you would assume you're better than. If you lost to Minnesota by three, by seven, okay, cool. That sucks, but cool. You getting blown out? Okay, no, 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 no. We have a problem. Next game, Laramie Tunsil, you keep false starting. We, I don't have, I don't have time to play dumb games like this. I don't have time to watch a team and be dumb like that. False start to me is the most brain dead penalty, bros. 
Like, why are you false starting? And that has been your Achilles heel. I don't have time to see that. If you are serious about winning a Super Bowl, not going to the playoffs, not do, if you're serious about going and winning a Super Bowl, you need to lock the F in. I don't have time. I don't, we, I've watched this team for almost a decade and a half and they've disappointed me every year. I'm not about to lock in and watch this team keep disappointing me. I'm not gonna, I, I can't just sit, I'm gonna watch these games and but my expectations are gonna change quickly. Tell me now if you wanna go to a Super Bowl or not. Tell me now. We face Jacksonville, we face Buffalo. Those aren't two easy teams. They're not two easy teams. Those are teams you have to lock in. They're both home games, but you have to lock in. So tell me in these two weeks, tell me what you want. Tell me if you want to win a Super Bowl or tell me if we're trying to go home. Tell me if you don't want to make the playoffs. Tell me if you want to. I don't care about winning the division. I don't care what the Colts did. I don't care what the Titans did. I don't care what the Jaguars did. I don't care about just winning the division. I don't care about winning 10 games. I don't care about none of that. We did that last year. You won 10 games. You won the division. You won the playoff game. Cool. You did all that. Don't tell me about none of that. I don't care about that. What I do care about is, are you trying to win a Super Bowl? If you win games, you don't have to look at your division. You focused on you. So if you're serious about winning a Super Bowl, if you're serious about making it to the, you know, going far, beating the Chiefs, beating the Ravens, beating the Bills, being the best Texan team we've ever had because you ain't 2011 Texan team is washing this team. That 2011 Texan team beating the brakes off of this team. I swear to you, that 2011 team would destroy this team. I'm telling you that right now. Maybe that 2012, early version of 2012, not the late version, because that team was fraudulent. But those teams are beating the brakes off you. So if you telling me, hey, Jesse, this the year, this the schedule don't get easier. It's hard. This is a hard schedule. So you about to go through some battles. So if I see that you're not ready to go through battles and go through war, then tell us now so we can reset the expectations and I can watch y'all fail. And then we'll talk about it every week that y'all fail. Tell me now. Please tell me now. I don't, I look, I don't got time for this, bro. I don't have time to be like, yeah, man, I'm, man, Texas going to Super I never say that because what, what proof do I have of that? What did we do that made me think that? It's a mentality thing. You have the talent. You do. You have the talent. You have CJ Stroud, Tank Dell, Nico Collins, Stephon Diggs. Joe Mixon didn't play today, but yeah, Joe Mixon, the offensive line has talent. You have two talent. You have many talented tight ends. You have a talented D line. You got some talent on the linebacker court and you have some, you have some talent in the secondary. You have talent on this team. This team is not devoid of talent but the problem is your mental your mentality is weak it says your mentality is weak you will fail so this this game is going to do one of two things it's my final thoughts this game is going to do one of two things it's either going to a you're going to tell me who you are what you are you're going to tell me you're going to show me you're going to say hey we suck we're not going to win a Super Bowl. We'll win 10 games and we're going to lose in the first round and second round. We're not going to do anything. This game either says that to me or this is the wake up call that makes you lock in for the rest of the year. That's what this game's going to do. These next two games, you're going to tell me, you're going to show me. If you show me, if you say, hey, we're not we're not ready for this. We're not going to do the Super Bowl thing. Cool. Thank you for telling me. Thank you for telling me so I can. So when I face the Chiefs and face the Ravens in December, I know we're going to lose. And I, I don't have to even pay too much attention to it. Just see how bad we lose by but if this is the game that wakes you up and says, hey, we got some holes. We got some things to fix. We got to get in it. We got to do what we got to do to get better. Well, thank you, Minnesota, for that. Shout out to Minnesota. Them boys, they playing good ball. Right? I, 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 like I said, I think we should have won the game in terms of the talent. But it's not about talent, right? It's really about, like I said, it's mentality. Talent's one thing, but mentality is another thing. So shout out to Minnesota. Hopefully they go far and they do their thing. Still have never beat Minnesota in so we're going to have to wait another couple years to do that again. So, or try that at least. Uh, but hey, if you're a Texan fan, make sure to like this video. Uh, make sure to comment down below. What are your thoughts on the game? Like I said, that game was straight buns, straight trash. Yeah, as the game, you, you know, you don't throw that game away though. If you're a Texan player, don't throw that game away. Watch that game and tell me who you are. Cause I'm not, we not playing around. We a city of Houston. We too hype. You got Jersey changes. You got all these new players. You got all these expectations. Okay. You got a logo change. Okay, cool. Same old Texans though. Oh, you're not? Prove it next week then. I'm gonna catch you guys on the next video and I'm out of here. Peace.